Today's secondary two math prodigies is Coach Seifel with your daily dose of math mastery. So last week we did a lot of oops, what happened there? <laughs> Sorry, we had we did a lot of simultaneous or linear equations as some people call it, and we did a pretty good job. Um, a lot of you have said that <clears throat> it's pretty useful. So let's move on to a different topic right now. This week we're gonna move on to secondary two algebra. I love algebra. I know you do too. It's one of my most favorite topics in math, okay? So let's move on to algebra right now. But first, let's do the last question for simultaneous equations. And the question was this. If you remember, and for you, if you're looking for the answer, the answer is 55 cows and how many ostriches? 45 ostriches. If you got it right, high five. You are a math prodigy. Good job. Now, how do we do this question? Very, very easy. Read the question. Farmer has a total of 100 cows and ostriches on his farm, which means that x <coughs> excuse me, plus y, of course you have to write down, let x be number of cows, let y be number of ostriches. x plus y gives you 100, that is your very first equation. And for your second equation, you read the question, uh, it says if the cows and ostriches together have 310 legs, uh, you got to use your brain a bit here, yeah? if the cows have 2 legs or 4 legs, 4 legs, so therefore it's 4x, okay? And why? Ostriches have how many legs? Not four, but two. Yes, so for those of you who don't know ostriches, how they look like. <laughs> and number of legs equals to 310. Let's make it simpler for you here. Let's divide the whole thing by two. You will get 2x plus y is equal to 155. Okay? Why do I do this? Because I want to make it easy for us to substitute equations. So from one, from equation number one, you will derive that x, okay, y equals to 100 minus x. Let's call this equation number 3, and then we write down 3, substitute into 2. Sorry, substitute. You gotta write S U B substitute 3 into 2. In other words, you're gonna substitute x uh, y equals to 100 minus x into the second equation. So in this case, I'm gonna erase everything quickly and just gonna write that out for you. Once you substitute 3 into 2, what you will receive is you have 2x plus um, 100 minus x equals to 155, okay? So you do the equation, um, basically 2x minus x will gives you x plus 100. Um, x plus 100, that means you bring it over to the other side, 155 minus 100, you will have x equals to 55. Now once you get that, very simple already, all you have to do is sub back that answer, um, x, sub x, equals to x equals to 55, into... Um, equation number three, which you found recently, <coughs> which is <coughs> excuse me, having a sore throat right here, uh, which is y equals to one hundred minus x, which is right now fifty five, and hence the answer would be forty five. So y equals to forty five, x equals to fifty five. There are therefore fifty five cows and forty five ostriches. So if you got it right, high five! You are a math prodigy. Good job. So now, the question again, we're going to move on to, like I said, algebra, my most favorite topic. And today, I'm going to start something that probably you most probably still remember. Let's hopefully that you remember it still. This kind of question. I want you to solve the equation below. And remember, you don't have to do it all at one go, step by step, okay? Uh, what is what's the quote of the week this week? It's a bit different from last week, but it's almost like the same principle. It says, slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Remember the story of the hare and the tortoise. Which one are you? Okay? Be the tortoise. Doesn't matter. You gotta be, do it slow. But a lot, as long as you get it, you're gonna win the race. So be slow, be steady, be and also win the race. With that, this is Coach Saifu signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.